Now today we'll be replacing the ABS wheel sensor. Just a connection that runs. It's bolted to the hub and then it just runs, a wire just runs right into the engine bay and there's a harness connector. They just disconnect. So the car is obviously safely jacked up and on jack stands. Also if you are doing this on a driveway, just put a piece of wood underneath your jack stand so it doesn't mark anything up. There we go. Now there's also another connection point right here at the engine bay. And then if you follow the wire at the rear of the hub, you'll find a connection point. In this case, it's a 10 millimeter bolt. And then very, very gently, because these can be very, very fragile, very, very gently, just pry this up, and there you go. So there's your old sensor. Now there's a connection point inside the engine bay. Now sometimes the hardest part of this job is just disconnecting the sensor. Now as you can see, this is a 2010 Subaru, very, very confined area. So what I'm doing is just, these are just, uh, essentially rubber hoses that I need to move out of the way to get down to the harness connector. So I just have a bungee cord just pulling away these hoses so I can fit my hand in here. And I had to do this off camera, but right down there, let me see if I can zoom in here. This is where the center lives. Now I had to press down with my thumb. It's a little hard, I'm not going to lie, but it took maybe a good minute, two minutes, just to grab this or get this, get a good grip on it. Press down with my thumb, and then, there you go. Now, another thing you could do, you can, if you have a very, very long flathead screwdriver, you have to be incredibly gentle because you don't want to crack the plastic body on the sensor. You can also try that, but if you can, do it with your hand or fingers or hands because that's going to ensure that nothing breaks on you. So this is where the ABS wire feeds into the engine bay. This is just a grommet. You just peel it back. And there you go. Then directly to the right of the grommet, we also have a plastic tab. This tab just keeps everything nicely in place in the engine bay. So what you want to use is something like a needle nose plier. Squeeze in the tabs of the ends. And then push in that little holder, okay? And then you can just simply pull the harness connector out. And then once you have your new sensor, you just reconnect it in the engine bay, clip it back in that little holder. There's your grommet, a couple of connection points, and then of course, the sensor itself. And when it comes time to reinstalling the grommet, I like to use the back end of a screwdriver just to make sure it's firmly in place. And as a final check, make sure everything's nice and tight, all your bolts are secure, and you're all set.